The Acumatica Manufacturing Edition has a variety of different manufacturing modules. The core modules are bill of material, production order, and MRP. There's a couple of additional modules, one being product configurator, to where you can actually go out and create features and options to where you can have a pick and choose from within the, within the sales orders and within the customer management opportunity screen. So we're going to take a look at the configurator. Within the configuration maintenance screen, you can have different revisions for the configuration. You can have different statuses for the configuration, so you can have it being pending as you're working on it. Once it, you've approved it, then you change that to active, and then for whatever reason, if you need to make a change to a new revision, or if you no longer want this configuration, you can make that inactive. Also within here, it's attached to a bill of material. Within the bill of material, uh, it's, it's primarily attached to a, a routing. Now you can have uh, materials associated with this that, are, that you do not have to pick and choose. So they could be standard materials that you always need whenever you make this particular item and then have features and options on top of that. Within the features, so I have three different feature groups of which down below I have my options per feature group. Now within here, if I change to a different feature, these are my different options for that feature. And some of the other things that come into play here are rules. So you can have include and exclude. You can have different formulas set up to where you can extrapolate attributes, which we'll talk about in a minute, but you can do very, very complex formulas as well. Uh, so this can be a very simple configurator or a very complex configurator. The formulas are primarily used within dimensional capabilities. So there's a, a variety of different environments where the configurator fits in, uh, windows and doors, uh, capital equipment where you have features and options uh, like barbecue, uh, grills, things of that nature. Within the features, you can also set minimum and maximum selections. So as an example, everybody understands a PC. I have four different bays that I can choose from to put uh, hard drives in or uh, DVD players in, but I have to choose one at a minimum, but I can only choose four as a maximum. The options down below, these are coming in from inventory. They can be inventoried items or non-inventoried items, uh, non-stock items, I should say. Brings in the description. Uh, you can actually, as we talked about, have formulas associated with this. It brings in the unit of measure, and you can specify which operation on that bill of material that you want this particular option to appear on. Again, you can have minimums, maximums, lock quantities as well. Uh, you can back flush these materials or issue them, and then you can bring them in from a different warehouse and location as well. You can have additional price factors, so as the configurator rolls up the cost and price, you can have different price factors based on the material. So if one particular option costs $50 more, when I choose that, it's going to add that additional $50 to the price. Within the attributes, these are freeform attributes that, that you can actually create. And within here, you can make these either required or not, and then you can give default values or not as well. So you'll notice down at the bottom I have two. I need to specify a length and a width when I actually go through my choices. You can also set uh, what's called configuration keys. So as I go through different configurations, I'm going to still see this AM shower kit as my inventory item, but I could have different keys that, that allows me to do quick entry as well as take into account within uh, reporting and capabilities like that. Within the pricing, the roll-up of this, I can either do children, I can do the parent, I can do all, and then I can calculate this either after each selection or upon the ending of the configuration. Also within here, you can actually do a test configuration. You can set this as a, as a default for this particular item, and then I can also copy different configurations as a starting point. So if I actually go into the test configuration mode, you'll notice that my attributes appear. I'm required to put in my length and width of this particular uh, configuration, and I'm going to put this as 20 by 20, 
and then I have the capability to do my options. So if you remember when we went through a minute ago, my features and options, so my feature uh, is the shower tray, and I have these options. So I can come in and pick the, pick the option. You'll notice that this turned green at the top. So it's run through the rules, and it's accepted that as, a, as an option. My floor glass, I have the capability to pick two. If I had an include or an exclude on here, if I had based on a prior selection, I need to exclude two additional uh, options within a feature group, I'm only going to see the options that apply. So as I come in and, and go through this configuration, which ones I pick, this is a valid configuration, so I can finish, and I'm done with this, and I've accepted this configuration. Now, I mentioned that this actually applies within the opportunities within customer management. There's a opportunities page of which on the products page, you have the capability to do configurations. So you'll notice that the configure button is here. So I could actually come in and on my laptop, just an example on here, I can come in and configure this. It brings in the same screen that we were looking at. I've already gone through this one, but I have the capability to have different attributes, different options that I can pick and choose from and go down through, and now I can see which ones the aids are. Now, within the opportunity side, if you then get the sales order, you have the capability to create a sales order directly from here, and it will come into the sales order screen, at which point in time, it will appear on your documents tab. So here's my shower kit that I was doing earlier. You'll notice that now I have a configure button on this. I, it's the exact same functionality that we just looked at. It brings in the capability of, of making these selections. Now, when you copy it in, it will actually copy the actual configuration. So there's no going back through the configuration if you don't need to make any changes. Then once I've done this and completed the configuration, then I have the capability to come out and create a production order directly from this. Once it goes to the production side, it will only have the features and options associated with that production order. So it's a true configured to order product at the end. If you care for a deeper dive demonstration based on your own organization's functionality and requirements, please reach out to your local Acumatica reseller or contact the number you're seeing up on your screen or via info at acumatica.com.